So here to camera king .com. In this video I will show you how to open ports on a Comcast router. The first thing you need to know and you need to have set in place is your DVR has to be on and it has to be connected to one of the ports on your Comcast router using an Ethernet cable and you kind of have to have a computer as well connected on your Comcast router with an Ethernet cable. Uh, I'm doing this demonstration on um, Windows 7 so to start we're going to go to the start button and click on it. You will be presented with this. Normally uh, Windows 7 and Windows Vista has the sim uh, a similar uh, interface here so on Windows XP it will be different so if you have Windows XP you will see a button that says run you can click on it and you will be showing up this. And you can there type CMD and hit enter and it will open up this box. For Windows Vista users and Windows XP or in Windows 7, you're gonna click Start, and then in this search, you're gonna type CMD, and you're gonna hit Enter, and the same box will open. So what we need to find out is what is our what is our Comcast router's IP. Many of you ask, you know, uh, when they call us for support, they ask us how can I find my my IP. It's very simple. As long as you have the computer connected to the same router and uh, the DVR as well so everything will be configured pretty easy. So uh, once this uh, command prompt uh, window is open you can type the command ipconfig and hit enter and you will be presented with all of this information. Then from here you're gonna be focused on what it says Ethernet adapter local area connection. Here you will find the IP of the DVR I'm sorry, the IP of your computer, the subnet mask of your network, and the IP of your gateway. The gateway is the IP of your router. If you have multiple routers, this is going to be kind of confusing. This video is for a single router uh, and uh, connection uh, of the DVR directly to that router. So once I know the IP of my Comcast router, I can close this and I can go and open the DVR. So I need to find out first what's the IP of the DVR and make sure that everything matches uh, based on the network configuration I have. So in this case I'm going to be accessing a hybrid DVR. This is our brand new DVR, a very powerful unit. And um, I'm going to be the same way you access if you have one of our DVRs before. Is this, you access it, access it exactly the same by putting the IP of the DVR by default is 192.168.1.108 if you notice uh, because it's the default you don't have to put HTTP or colon 88 or 80 by default all of the connections through uh, the internet or whatever uh, unit or device you have that is uh, accessible over port 80 you don't have to put HTTP or the port only when you change the port is the times that you kind of have to put HTTP colon four slash four slash colon and the port number so uh, this is the IP on the DVR and then I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna have to view this on compatibility view and it will be presented with the uh, user interface login so I'm going to put um, the username and password and I'm going to go to config network and here's the IP of the DVR. Um, I'm going to be doing some modifications because I have other devices uh, with this particular port and I have to, if I have multiple devices that ha share or have this similar port, I'm going to have to change them. If you don't have any other devices like other DVRs or IP cameras, you should leave it the way it is and that you should, you should be able to uh, configure uh, your ports and, and view the, the DVR. As you remember before, the uh, gateway of my network is that one that 254 on a Comcast router by default is the IP it's gonna be 10.1.10.1 .1 .1, unless you change it. In my case I changed my network 
and I assign it to uh, to be 192.168.1.254. So in order for me to open the port successfully, uh, I have to change the gateway on this DVR. I'm gonna change it to that 254, and I'm gonna change this IP to 100. My TCP port, I'm gonna change it as well. You can put 27777 if you like to. I'm gonna change this to 27778. And this port, I'm gonna put 100 as well. Click save. The DVR is gonna reboot. Click OK. You can close this page. You can go ahead and determine when the DVR is alive. You can go back again to start, type CMD, and ping the new IP of the DVR. Remember, I changed it to that 1.100, and put space minus T. The T, what it's going to do is it's going to do an unstoppable ping. It's like a sonar. Basically, is the computer is trying to talk to the IP that I put, in this case the DVR, and it will not stop doing that. And this, the, if you get a reply back like this, that means that the unit that I'm trying to talk is alive. So once it's done, I mean, once I got this, I'm pretty sure and uh, the DVR is capable of being reached over Eden Explorer. I can open it again, type the new IP. In this case, because I changed the HTTP port, I'm going to have to put um, HTTP colon four slash four slash the IP of the DVR that I changed as well colon 100. And here it is. Okay. Now that we know this is good, we can go ahead and open the ports. We can go to remember the IP was uh, that one that two fifty four sixty eight that one that two fifty four is the IP of my gateway. It's pretty much the IP of the Comcast router. Uh, by default, the password the username is cuz admin, and the password is high speed. Click login. Go to firewall. I have um, I have a lot of ports already open, so you will see a bunch of ports there. But we're focusing right now on the new ports of this uh, new DVR. So uh, you're gonna go to port configurations. You can do two things here. If you go to DMZ, if your router supports DMZ, pretty much all of the Comcast routers support DMZ. Uh, you can just go click enable DMZ and put the IP of the DVR and click apply, and you're good to go. You don't have to open any ports. Pretty much, uh, whatever is on the DMC is bypassing the firewall. Every port will be forward to this particular host. So, um, if you're um, concerned about, you know, the uh, security of your of your equipment and all that, you can just simply go and go to port configuration and, op and open just the ports that you want or that DVR has. In this case, we're going to go and scroll down. I'm going to go add new. I'm going to name it, uh, this particular DVR is a hybrid DVR. So I'm going to name it like this, HIB space or dash. You can, of course, you can not do a space in this case because it's going to show you an error if you do that. Uh, the port that I changed, one of the ports was 100 for the HTTP. I'm going to repeat that all the way through and here you're gonna put the IP of your DVR. I'm gonna apply the changes make sure for the protocol you're gonna choose both okay click apply changes has been saved here again I have to open three ports in total so I'm gonna name again HIB DVR in this case I'm gonna put a number two because the router doesn't like uh, the same name with different ports. So um, the other port was 27777. 
Again, I'm going to put 27777. As you see, it will populate it in here. Again, the IP of the DVR. Click apply again. You have to do this three times. So you see here, there is the, the port. You're going to add new again. And then the last port, we said it was 27778. 27778. And again, the IP of the DVR. Apply. And you will see that the three ports have been added successfully and they are enabled. Make sure this option is checked. Make sure this option is checked. Click apply. And now you can, your ports are open. You have an option to test them. If you go, uh, we always use can you see me that org to test uh, the inbound uh, connection with the with the DVR so we can just sign out and go to can you see me dot org this is my external IP this is uh, basically will show a different IP in your case and then you can test only one port it's not, it's not necessary to test all of the ports uh, normally, the UDP port on your DVR is always going to show that it's closed, and that is for security. The UDP port is used for authentication to the DVR, so it's always going to show that it's closed, even though that you open it on your, on your router. So I will always test the HTTP port, in my case was 100, and click check. If you see this, you're good to go. Uh, you can test the TCP port. 27777 check so I'm good now um, if I try to access it uh, from uh, my computer at home I will be able to reach the DVR by putting the external IP colon 100 so it will be HTTP colon four slash four slash my external IP which is 50.73.2 that one a two colon one hundred. If I try to do this right now because I'm within the same network, it's not gonna work. So you after you test this, after you open the ports, you're gonna have to use an external computer. You're gonna have to uh, test it in a different way, but not within the network because it's not gonna work. And uh, this is pretty much saying that the ports are open and you're good to go I mean you from there you can go and if you have our app tech pro SS you can go ahead and put the IP uh, of your DVR no colon at this point and no HTTP uh, the the tech pro SS uses uh, the port 37777 in my case because I change that port to 27777 that's what I have to put on my iPhone or my Android or my Blackberry for me to access it and uh, view the cameras and remember if you're using this soft the tech pro ss software on your phone and you are within your network make sure that your your smartphone is not attached to any wireless internally on your network and using uh the external ip because it's like you are within the network you have to make sure that your smartphone is using the 3g connection then you're going to be able to connect to the DVR from your iPhone or Android or BlackBerry. Okay, I hope this has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.